In this tip of the day, I'd like to demonstrate how you can use a drilling operation to machine whole chamfers using one CNC. Now typically when machining chamfers, you would probably would head over to the command manager, select stock toolpaths, and use the chamfer edge command. This is very much like a profile operation where you take a chamfer tool and you actually profile the chamfer in there. But for this example, we're going to be using a drilling operation where we simply want to take the chamfer tool, we want to plunge in and plunge out and that's going to be good enough for the chamfers. All right, so let's start with these two holes up here. Now these holes have a diameter of a quarter inch and the chamfer is 30 thousandths. All right, let's head over here to the command manager, select drill single. I'll use arc center. I'm going to left hand mouse click the center of each hole that I'd like to perform the drilling operation on and then right hand mouse click, click finish. All right, now the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have a chamfer tool that's large enough to machine the chamfer. In this example, I definitely do. I'm using a diameter of one inch here. Notice that the taper angle is set to 45, and I have a tip diameter set to zero. Okay, let's click next on that. Here's our clearance plane. The clearance plane, the rapid plane, the material Z top, this is all normal stuff. We have zero at the top of the part. There's our clearance, and then there's our rapid plane. But what we want to do is we want to demonstrate how we can figure out the exact depth to get that proper chamfer size. And in this example, the chamfer is going to be 30 thousandths. So what do you do? Well, what you want to do first is type in the diameter of the hole. So I'm going to type in 0.25. I want to take that now and divide that by 2. So I'm going to hit the equal sign on the keyboard. 1 CNC performs the formula. And there we go. There's the radius of the hole. All we need to do now is add the chamfer value. So I'm going to type in the plus sign. There we go. And I'm going to type in 30 thousandths. And again, I'm going to hit the equal sign on the keyboard. One CNC will perform the calculation. And don't forget, we need to put a minus sign in front of that. That is the proper depth to get a 30 thousandths chamfer on a quarter inch hole. It doesn't matter whether you use a can cycle or no can cycle. That formula will work for you. So we'll click next on that. I'll just use a G81 can cycle on that. We'll click finish, and there we go. Now, let's do the same thing for this larger hole here. All right, so let's go back over here to our command manager, drill single, arc center, left hand mouse click the hole, right hand mouse click, and hit finish. Okay, just like before, make sure you have a chamfer tool that's large enough to perform the chamfer, and I definitely do. And in this example, I want to show you what you'd want to do if you have a tip diameter. All right. So for now, we're going to leave it set to zero, and then I'm going to come back and put a tip diameter in. But when we click next here, this procedure here is exactly the same. Let's delete that out. Type in the diameter of the hole, 750 thousandths, divided by 2. Hit the equal sign on the keyboard. That gives us the radius of the hole. Then what we want to do now is add the chamfer value. Type in plus 30 thousandths. Hit the equal sign on the keyboard. And don't forget to put the minus sign in front there that is going to give us the proper depth. Now that will work if our tool has a tip diameter of zero. But what if you do have a tip diameter? Okay, uh, I'm going to put in a huge value here. I'm going to put in 250 thousandths. All right, if I put in 250 thousandths there, that means that that chamfer tool doesn't need to go as deep to make that 30 thousandths, right? We don't have to go as deep if we do that because we've touched off the top of the part. That's the tip of the tool there. So we're going to have to adjust our Z depth. Well, what do we do? Well, it's actually pretty simple. What you do is you take your tip diameter and divide it by two. Let's click next. What you want to do here is, remember, we don't need to drill as deep, right? So what you want to do is add, we're going to type in plus 0.125, okay? That's half the tip diameter. It's simply that. We're just adding half of the tip diameter. Hit the equal sign on the keyboard. There we go. Again, it doesn't matter whether it's a CAN cycle or automatic cycle. We'll click next on that. I'll use a CAN cycle GD1 and finish. And there we go. All right, so there's two examples of using that simple formula to get the proper Z depth to use a drilling operation to machine hole chamfers. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next tip of the day.